everybody, this is Praxis, and I have been working on this, and I've learned an awful lot about how to do it, and uh, that's how deep I am right now. You can see where the paint's been removed from here. I don't know, what's that, like seven inches? Maybe eight, somewhere in there. Essentially, I have to get the entire barrel of this thing in there. Uh, the entire length of this is 10 inches all the way to the back. It's made only to be a nine inch drill because there's some hardware back in here. But what I've done, as you can probably see, is I've uh, uh, hammered out a lot of what was in there. Uh, this is an impact driver, and uh, I can also put a uh, like a jackhammer kind of bit on the end. And as I cut, I've been cutting in, I've been using the jackhammer to kind of chisel pieces off, and uh, I've got about that much completely clear all the way in there. So at this point, I can just continue through with this. Like I mentioned, I've learned a lot about how to do this. Remember yesterday, it was kind of like uh, little starts. It would just roll for a little bit. Uh, I found out what was going on there. I think just the teeth at the very beginning were really grabbing into the concrete. And once the teeth at the end kind of got smoothed out a little bit, it was able to just spin. And you'll see that in a little bit. I'll be able to just spin it and you'll see how I'm kind of driving it through. One other critical piece of uh, a protective gear I found out is a, uh, a bandana or a hat or something. Because yesterday when I came out of here, I was just... Well, it's all covered in dust. You can start to see, yeah, I've got dust starting to accumulate on me here. And uh, my hair was like just caked in this mud of dust. I tried washing it out. Last night I actually used uh, shampoo in my hair for the first time. I've got short hair, so I usually just rinse it out with hot water. But that wasn't happening. I actually had to do shampoo to get all this stuff out. So bandana today. Uh, I've got a different technique for kind of driving this in. And the last thing I wanted to talk about is also related to dust. I've got this shroud up in the corner here, and it's keeping the majority of the dust in here. You can see it's kind of all accumulating down in there. As I'm getting it, I'm kind of scooping it out so it doesn't get too heavy in the cloth. Uh, but there is certainly dust getting out of here. It's getting into the pantry. I've got a big uh, air filter that is filtering the air out, out, outside of the shroud in the pantry, but still everything's getting covered in dust, and I'm not sure there's anything I can do about that, so I'm just... I'm letting the air filter go to try to minimize it, but um, you know everything in the pantry's got a thin layer of this kind of dust, and again, I'm not sure there's anything I could do about that. So uh, we'll just finish up the video. You can see the technique I've been developing. Uh, my arm is just getting sore from piling this thing in. So I found out it's like the uh, the the guy with the the beer gut at the construction site putting his gut on top of the. Uh, uh, jackhammer. <laughs> I found that kind of works. I'm trying to put the battery here into my stomach and use my stomach to kind of push it in and I'm just using my arms to kind of direct it. So here we go. You'll see it gets spinning up and as long as I don't have it right up against the wall while I spin it up it gets going and then I can just kind of put it back and forth. Uh, if I had it right up against the wall it'd be uh, too much torque for it and it wouldn't be able to uh, get going. So I got it pulled back a little bit. Here we go. The reason that I'm not just holding it up against the wall is I want to uh, give the dust and stuff I'm grinding out of there an opportunity to kind of clear out of the hole so I can be working on grinding the wall itself instead of just re-grinding re more dust. So that's why I'm kind of going in and out. But I'm trying not to smash it too much because I think that might not be great for the teeth to really be smashing it against the wall. So I'm just kind of easing it back and forth. <laughs> 